In the wake of current pandemic avenging the world, the global economy has been experiencing a continuous downward drift, hence resulting to continuous upward movement in inflation rate. Today's Nigeria have witnessed the prices of the increase in commodities in items such as rice, gari, beans, and even meat. And we've seen that Nigerians are not happy. Many of them are, uh, are frustrated because of the fact that the initial prices of goods have increased. Now on AIG Media Pro TV, what we are doing is to assess the response or reactions on the prices of commodities, on the prices of meat, rice, gari, among others. This is AIG Media Pro TV. My name is Peter Yama. Prices of food items have skyrocketed by as much as 30% in many parts of Nigeria. Survey has revealed that this increase is largely caused by border closures. COVID-19 containment measures, insecurity checks, communal clashes, banditry and farmer header conflict. Farouk, a food commodity seller review to AIG Media Pro correspondent Peter Iyama on the effect of increase in food items. And this is what he has to say. Hello, my name is Farouk Delhatu. I'm the one selling tomatoes and pepper here. And, uh, Basically, the uh, price back then, we used to buy a basket of tomatoes, 3,000, 4,000. But we buy it last, let's say two days ago, we buy it uh, around uh, 25,000, 30,000, 28,000 era. But now it's almost uh, coming back to the normal price. Let's say are, they, they are now selling 8,000, 7,5, But customers were, as in, were not happy. When they come to market, they will just be feeling as if they don't fight with people. As in, you'll be telling them price and they'll be looking as if you are the one making the, uh, the problem. Uh, Karibu. Karibu. Yeah. Okay, Karibu, please, I want you to tell us how much be price of all these things where they are on yours before, how much before, and how much now? Two, 15 era. This one, one, 15 era. Okay, before I've been now. Yes, now, 100 era. This one. One, um, one fifteen era. So one basket of onions before now how much? Uh, one basket uh, now ten thousand, eight thousand. So ten thousand. Okay, one bag of onions. Seventeen thousand. Seventeen thousand era. Wow. My name is Adi Kola uh, Everything on cost now. I meet meet where they buy for five ton hour before. Everything don't cost. We know see meat buy. They don't close, but that we don't see anything buy for now. And about now, and ten times. Oh, that guy no COVID fifteen hour meat again. Everything don't cost very well. You know see market buy. Mama, mama, la o, mama. Bonsai is okay o. Bonsai is fun o. Let's do it o. Eh, 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 fifty thousand, tell it. What did it thirty thousand? My name is Monerat. Actually, the price of things are very, very like extra high now. Now they don't want meat of 15 era. The, the way we were buying pepper before, everything is high now. You can no longer buy pepper of 100 naira. So everything, and it's made the cost of food high now for the people that are selling food, like me. My auntie is selling food. Before we used to dish rice of 100 naira, but now our rice is from 200. Not for the fact that the rice is costly, but the ingredients that we use in making the rice makes it more expensive. So everything is expensive in Nigeria, apart from the fact that the Yorubas and the Fulani have issues. Everything has been high since. So government should do something about it. And Nigerians are not happy. A lot of people are saying that the Santonians should do their best they can to make sure that rather than focusing on the oil, they should focus on agriculture and their planting and harvest and manufacturing of production of yam, rice, gari and all of that. As you can see, you've seen the reactions of buyers and sellers and we trust that you have your comment to do the best you can to share your opinions on our comment session and follow us on our social media platforms at Pro on Instagram, Facebook and Twitter. My name is Peter Yama.